Welcome back to Channel J Car Mania The 2025 model of Russia's Su-75 Checkmate has emerged as one of the most anticipated developments in the world of military aviation. Designed by Suhoi and presented under the United Aircraft Corporation, the Su-75 is Russia's latest fifth-generation light stealth fighter, aiming to deliver next-gen combat capability at a fraction of the cost of Western jets. In a global environment where advanced airpower often comes with exorbitant costs and political limitations, the Su-75 offers a compelling solution. The 2025 version of this aircraft represents a critical point in the Checkmate's evolution, where its transition from prototype to pre-production fighter begins to materialize. When the Su-75 was first revealed at MOX 2021, it was introduced not just as a weapon, but as a platform designed to reshape Russia's presence in the international fighter jet market. It was intended to be stealthy, fast, multirole, and most importantly, affordable. Fast forward to 2025, and Suhoi has refined this vision further. The latest model now incorporates improved aerodynamics, upgraded onboard systems, and integration of new weaponry. It's no longer just a design concept, the 2025 Su-75 is undergoing comprehensive testing with an eye toward limited production runs and early export contracts. One of the most significant updates in the 2025 variant is its radar and sensor suite. The aircraft now carries an AESA radar system developed domestically, giving it a significant edge in tracking multiple targets simultaneously while remaining highly resistant to jamming. This radar allows the aircraft to detect stealth targets, perform ground mapping with high resolution, and lock onto both air and surface threats. Combined with infrared search and track systems and an advanced electronic warfare suite, the Su-75 is now capable of conducting a wide range of operations under heavy electronic interference. The avionics system in the 2025 model is a leap forward. A modern glass cockpit setup with large multifunction displays, a wide-angle HUD, and voice command functionality puts the pilot at the center of a digital environment designed for rapid decision making. AI enhanced assistance modules have been added to reduce pilot workload and improve response time during complex missions. This system helps in threat analysis, target prioritization, route optimization, and even fuel management. These features put the Su-75 closer to the operational efficiency standards of Western fifth-generation fighters, while still retaining its Russian tactical philosophy. When it comes to performance, the Su-75 maintains its promise as a high-speed, high-agility platform. The single-engine configuration based on the AL-41F1 family delivers a balance between raw thrust and fuel efficiency. The 2025 variant has been optimized for greater range, with an estimated combat radius approaching 1,500 km and a maximum range over 3,000 km with external fuel tanks. This allows the Su-75 to cover large operational areas without relying heavily on aerial refueling. Its top speed of Mach 1.8 and service ceiling of over 16,000 meters ensures it can operate above most threats while striking targets deep within contested zones. A defining element of the Su-75's strategy is affordability. The 2025 model still targets a price point of approximately $30 million per unit, making it highly attractive to countries that want fifth-generation capabilities without the complexity and cost of maintaining something like the F-35. Suhoi has achieved this by simplifying logistics, using modular parts, and employing a digital production line that reduces assembly time. This manufacturing model allows for variations of the aircraft to be built. According to the buyer's specific mission needs, whether that means prioritizing air superiority, ground strike, or electronic warfare. The Su-75 stealth features have also seen refinement. While it doesn't aim to match the F-22 or F-35 in radar invisibility, it incorporates significant measures to reduce its radar cross-section. These include an internal weapons bay to avoid radar reflections from external stores, composite materials, radar absorbent coatings, and carefully designed engine inlets. The exhaust nozzle has also been adjusted in the 2025 model to slightly reduce infrared signature and radar detectability. These changes provide a balance between cost and survivability in hostile environments. On the weapons front, the 2025 Su-75 is compatible with a wide variety of Russian armaments. 
It can carry up to 7,400 kilograms of ordnance, including R-77M beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles, short-range R-73s, and various guided air-to-ground weapons like the KH-38, CAB-500, and Grom series bombs. The internal weapons bay can house up to five missiles for stealth missions, while additional hardpoints under the wings and fuselage can be used when stealth is less of a priority. In a modern multirole context, this flexibility allows the aircraft to switch roles from air superiority to ground attack or suppression of enemy defenses with minimal reconfiguration. One of the 2025 model's most notable features is its digital backbone. The Su-75 has been built with digital twin technology, which means each aircraft has a digital counterpart that can be used for maintenance prediction, software upgrades, and mission rehearsal. Ground crews can diagnose issues before they cause operational downtime, and pilots can run simulations using real-time mission parameters. This innovation dramatically reduces life cycle costs and allows for quicker readiness rates, especially important for countries operating with limited infrastructure. International interest in the Su-75 has grown over the past year, and the 2025 model has played a key role in that surge. Countries in the Middle East, Southeast Asia, Africa, and Latin America are now in talks with Rosoboron Export regarding future purchases or co-production agreements. Russia has even proposed joint development programs, particularly with nations like the UAE and India, which are seeking alternatives to Western jets amid growing geopolitical tensions. These partnerships would allow for localized production, technology transfers, and training programs that increase self-reliance for the purchasing nation. Another selling point of the 2025 Su-75 is its operational simplicity. Unlike many Western jets that require advanced maintenance facilities and long supply chains, the Su-75 is designed for rugged field operations. It can take off from shorter runways, operate in adverse weather, and be maintained with relatively minimal support. The aircraft's modular layout allows for quick swapping of key components, reducing turnaround time between missions and keeping the fleet airborne longer. For air forces with tight budgets and high demands, this is a critical advantage. In terms of network integration, the Su-75 has been equipped with secure datalink systems that allow it to operate in a connected battlefield environment. It can share targeting information with other aircraft, ground stations, and unmanned systems. The 2025 model is also being tested for manned-unmanned teaming, allowing it to control or coordinate with drones during complex operations. This concept, seen as a future-defining element of aerial warfare, is one that Suhoi is actively pursuing to make the Su-75 relevant well into the 2030s and beyond. One interesting aspect of the 2025 model is its adaptability for future upgrades. Suhoi has left open multiple pathways for improved engine integration, thrust vectoring, and even semi-autonomous control. This means that while the initial version of the aircraft may be somewhat limited in certain aspects, buyers can upgrade over time without having to purchase an entirely new platform. This kind of scalability is rare in fifth-generation fighters and reinforces the Su-75's role as a long-term solution for evolving airpower needs. Of course, the Su-75 faces numerous challenges. It is entering a competitive global market dominated by established players like the F-35, Rafale, and Chinese FC-31. Furthermore, the Russian defense industry continues to deal with international sanctions, logistical constraints, and component shortages. These factors have delayed production timelines, and as of 2025, the aircraft is still in the late testing phase with low rate production expected to begin by 2026. That said, the progress on the 2025 model suggests that Suhoi is committed to delivering on its promises, and potential buyers are keeping a close watch. The political angle of the Su-75 program is also worth noting. In an era where military procurement is as much about diplomacy as defense, the checkmate serves as a counterbalance to Western influence. Countries that find themselves politically isolated or unwilling to align with NATO now have a high-end platform available to them without strings attached. It's not just about the hardware, it's about geopolitical choice, and the Su-75 provides one. Operational doctrine around the Su-75 is still being developed but analysts expect it to be deployed as a swing-roll fighter capable of performing both air dominance and deep strike missions. 
Its stealth and sensor suite make it suitable for first day of war operations, while its range and payload make it useful for extended missions over large territories. Given Russia's own interest in using the Su-75 alongside the Su-57 and existing fourth-generation platforms, a future mixed fleet strategy seems likely, where the Su-75 complements heavier fighters and bombers. As the global security landscape continues to evolve, especially with rising tensions in Eastern Europe, the Indo-Pacific, and the Middle East, countries are re-evaluating their airpower priorities. The 2025 Su-75 enters this climate as a disruptor. It offers many of the benefits of a fifth-gen platform, stealth, sensors, digital warfare capabilities, without the extreme costs or export limitations. It's a calculated gamble by Russia to seize a niche that exists between aging fourth-gen aircraft and prohibitively expensive fifth-gen ones. Looking ahead, the Su-75 program's success will depend on how well Suhoi can meet production deadlines, how competitive its pricing remains, and whether the aircraft performs reliably in real-world operations. But as of 2025, the trajectory looks promising. With several nations lining up for potential deals, and with testing pushing the platform closer to operational status, the Su-75 is no longer just a concept, it's a viable tool in modern aerial warfare. In closing, the 2025 Su-75 Checkmate represents the fusion of ambition, necessity, and strategy. It's built not just for Russia, but for the world, a world that increasingly demands more capability at less cost. Whether it becomes a staple of future air forces or remains a regional solution depends on what happens next. But one thing is certain, the checkmate is now in play. Thanks for watching.